Okay, Martin Weidemann here from True North, speaking on immortality, and this is my sixth video. Um, there's a lot of people and preachers that do not um, believe in immortality, but it is not that they do not believe in immortality, it is more the thing that they believe it must come. It still has to come because they do not have an answer for 1 Corinthians 15 verse 54 that says, So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. So they do not have an answer for this one. They believe there must come immortality. But um, the, the thing is, for them it is still something to come. When Jesus Christ returns physically, it will come to all men that believe in Christ Jesus. Now I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Do we receive anything from God that he did not did for us on the cross of Calvary when he gave his life his, the, the, the whole thing he could give the most important thing he could give to us was his life and the whole gospel is connected to that life how is it that we preach that men can receive anything they can have anything according to that life that was broken open for us we can receive anything except immortality the only thing that is outside of Jesus Christ is immortality so we can have everlasting life we can have eternal life we can have everything that we are preaching to them except immortal life because that is outside of Christ that is something that must come how can it be why is it when we speak on death we we say to men that men will die because of sin but that death is a spiritual death. It is not a physical death. Because we say that all men die anyway. Christians die anyway. We do not believe in immortality. So every man will die anyway. So sin brings spiritual death. And life brings spiritual life to you. And not natural life to you how is it that we think that life and death is only a spiritual thing a spiritual force can't you understand that I am a spirit I having a soul and I'm living in a body I'm three I'm three in one I'm a body I am a spirit and I am a soul and all three, three things are important for God. And when Christ, who is truly, truly life and light, comes and dwells inside of me, it quickens my spirit, it brings life to my spirit, it brings life to my soul, it brings life to my body. When I sin, sin comes, it influenced my body, it influenced my soul, it influenced my spirit. Proverbs 12 verse 28 says the following, In the way of righteousness is life. In the pathway thereof is no death. Listen, in the pathway in the way of righteousness, or if you are righteous, I am righteous. We teach people we are righteous before God because of His work and not our work. So I am righteous. In the pathway of righteousness is life. Is it only life, spiritual life? 
or is it life abundance? Is it life coming to my soul, spirit and body? And then in the pathway thereof is no death. I believe in the pathway of righteousness is life and no death. That life is consuming me spirit, soul and body. And death must stay away from me. Spirit, soul and body. Because I'm righteous. I'm righteous because of Him and His finished work. And not because of my work. So, we can have immortal life, everlasting life, eternal life because of our belief in His finished work. May you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.